This is Catherine Holland of Indestructible Soul and all this week I've been posting up about the reality of breastfeeding which is a book that I wrote to assist particularly mothers but parents and health professionals to understand the way that breastfeeding works so that they can do it competently, so they can advise mothers, so they can be confident mothers breastfeeding, so they can advise their partners, or wives, all of all of those support um, needs. Because breastfeeding mother, particularly in Western culture, really needs support. She will believe as everybody else believes, that it's a natural and instinctive thing to do. And it's not. It's a learned art, what sometimes is called a learned instinct. So I anticipate and I sort of guess that um, a girl growing up would see about 40 different women breastfeeding um, during her, her childhood, teenage and, and early adulthood before she has her own babies. And... Um, she would therefore be aware of the differences, the different styles of mothering, breastfeeding, the different needs of babies. They are incredibly varied in their need for frequency of feeding and the amount that they might be awake um, and how easy they will find it to be with other people or how they like to be carried, all of those things. Um, as well as the quite surprising things to Westerners, which is that as primates and as primate babies, we expect to be carried and to be suckled all the time. That's a really difficult thing for people to swallow because they imagine it needs a, means a very demanding way of living. So in the book, I try to cover many of the aspects that were presented to me as a breastfeeding counsellor. I was a counsellor for 19 years. Um, I also breastfed my own children for a total, if you put it end to end, about 10 years. And so um, that, that was three of my children. Sorry, my three children, I had three. Um, and so that gives you an idea of, <clears throat> excuse me, the sort of background that I'm coming from. Um, and having been a counsellor, I was asked lots and lots of different questions on different levels, um, particularly about sleeping and the expectation of sleeping. And I do explain that culturally, the fact that um, very well-to-do people used to pay a nanny and indeed a wet nurse to look after their children so they didn't even breastfeed them themselves, they had very little notion of what a baby actually needs. So the fashion became based on something that was actually completely impossible. Um, a baby would never sleep on its own in a room. The, the idea of a nursery is called so because there was a nurse in the room looking after the baby. So the baby was actually having its needs met one way or another. So to put that into the modern lifestyle, we have to be quite creative. And we also have to carry out some of the ancient traditions or the biological traditions that our bodies and our babies expect to have a peaceful life. Because if we're asking them to do things which is impossible biologically for them to do, we are bound to be disappointed. So I, um, I talk about all of these things and uh, I include things like it's really useful for couples to discuss um, their expectations, who they might be happy the baby being fed in front of, how long they imagine it might last. Some people think of a matter of weeks. Some people think of years, so you really need to have this up front with your partner if you're wanting them to support you, um, or if you're the partner and you don't want to have big rows in front of your in-laws or however it, it kicks off. So um, I, I cover a huge amount of stuff and uh, you can read um, some excerpts from the book if you look on my website, which is Holland. .co.uk. Um, there's also the page, um, you may be reading this on, but it's a Facebook page, The Reality of Breastfeeding. Um, the book itself is $3.99. It's on Kindle uh, and available in PDF format if you don't have a Kindle. It's not in print at the moment. There are a few copies, but um, I um, am endeavouring to put it on to create space, actually. So hopefully it will be in print again especially if you ask for it. 
so I hope that that encourages you to find out about the book itself. It's really nice to have a physical um, or a personal copy of something to refer to that you've already read, especially if you read it during pregnancy, that will bring you back to mind of how you thought you could manage to, to get along and what support you might need. So um, I wish you well if you're breastfeeding or if you're supporting people breastfeeding. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.